everyone, let's dive into the fascinating world of chart patterns. Chart patterns are essential tools in technical analysis, helping us traders understand market sentiment and develop a solid trading plan. Unlike the most straightforward technical indicators, chart patterns are subjective. One trader might see a flag pattern while another trader might see a wedge or a channel in the same chart. So it is not just about recognizing a pattern, it is about validating it by looking at a bigger picture. This means we need to assess the strength of the chart pattern and then use other forms of technical analysis like indicators or price action to confirm it. And therefore in today's video, we'll explore what chart patterns are, identify some of the most popular ones, and explain how to trade based on these patterns and other crucial considerations. But first and foremost, very important, please go down, give me subscribe and share this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about these videos or what other topic that you want me to talk about. Well, first, let's talk about what chart patterns are. Essentially, chart patterns are a combination of trend lines based on price action. For instance, two converging trend lines might form an ascending triangle, descending triangle, or a symmetrical triangle. These patterns give us insight into market sentiment. For example, an ascending triangle characterized by higher lows and tightening price action at the resistance level signals that bulls are gaining momentum and suggests a potential upside breakout. On the flip side, a descending triangle with lower highs and consolidation at a support level indicates weakening buyers and stronger bears, likely leading to a price breakdown. These are the three main types of chart patterns for those of you that don't know. And number one, we have the continuation patterns. This suggests that the previous trend will continue. Think about price channels and pennants, which both indicate that the price will keep moving in the same direction. And number two, we have reversal patterns. These patterns suggest that a trend is about to reverse direction. Classic examples are the head and shoulder patterns or double tops and double bottoms, which indicate that the price might reverse its prior trend. We also have the bilateral patterns in number three. These don't predict any specific direction, but suggest that there will be an upcoming inflection point. Ascending triangles and symmetrical triangles are good examples hinting at an upcoming move. Now, many traders like to combine chart patterns with other forms of technical analysis. For instance, Harmonic chart patterns incorporate Fibonacci sequences to structure retracement and projections. Other traders may look for specific patterns over long periods such as Elliott waves which predict future price targets based on previous wavelength. Now, let's get into some of the most popular chart patterns. And if you master the following, that will give you an edge in the forex market. Trust me. These ones work most of the time. And number one, price channels. These are continuation patterns formed by parallel trend lines indicating resistance and support. Channels can slope upwards, bullish, downwards, bearish, or be horizontal. A breakout from the channel's trend line could indicate a trend reversal. And number two, triangles. Among the triangles, we have ascending, descending, and symmetrical. These are bilateral patterns with converging trend lines, indicating potential breakouts or breakdowns. To trade this, look for volume-supported breakouts or wait for retest of the triangle for confirmation. In number three, we have wages, rising and falling. These can act as continuation or reversal patterns depending on the precedenting trend. Rising wages or bearish and falling wages bullish 
are identified by converging trend lines. To confirm these patterns, use additional indicators like RSI or volume. Myself, I use price action. Or look into inside the, the pattern itself to see if there is a pattern in pattern. Anyway, number four, double tops and bottoms. These are reversal patterns occurring when the price touches the same level twice before reversing. Enter short for double tops or long for double bottom positions after confirming breaks below reaction lows or above reaction highs. And number five, we have held and shoulders. These are reversal patterns with three peaks or throws, where the middle peak or throw is the highest or lowest. Trade these by shorting for head and shoulders or longing for inverse head and shoulders after confirming the break of the neckline. When observing chart patterns, remember these key points. Number one, pattern strength. The strength of the chart pattern often depends on the number of times the price reacts to the trend line and the volume of those reactions. More high volume touches mean a stronger signal. Number two, breakout confirmation. The most crucial factor during a breakout from a chart pattern is volume. High volume breakouts are much more reliable and help validate the chart pattern's projections. And number three, stop loss and take profit points. Stop losses are usually placed at the lower trend line of the chart pattern, while take profit targets vary depending on the pattern. It is essential to know these points before entering a trade. By understanding and applying these principles, you will enhance your ability to interpret chart patterns and make informed trading decisions. And I hope to be doing a video separate for each of the patterns and how you can effectively trade them. All right, everyone, that is a wrap for today's exploration of chart patterns. I hope you found this video insightful and that it helps you in your trading journey. Remember, mastering chart patterns takes practice and practice. So keep studying and refining your skills. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more trading tips and strategies. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new content. Your support means a lot and help the channel grow. Feel free to leave any question or comments down below. I love hearing from you and will do my best to answer any queries you might have. Also, share this video with fellow traders who might find it useful. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy trading. My name is Osi the Bone Child and I'm signing out.